This is Kent Hopper, and you have uh, my invitation to the guild. Uh, going to look at this morning a warrior build. How do you build a warrior? Well, it's very simple. Um, and if you want a warrior, what you want is a very simple build. Um, you don't need a lot of um, stats, but what you do need is tons of attack and tons of um, defense. Because as a warrior, you're going to get bombarded. Okay, not so bad as a cleric, but depending on how you hit, is going to depend on how much you get bombarded. I recommend that your health be at least a thousand before you take on this uh, uh, position because it's very important as a warrior that you have a good capability in attack and in um, defense uh, if you hit you know at a at a high level you are going to be uh, really attacked by the biggest ones in the guild that they have they are going to attack you because they want you out of the game <clears throat> so how do you rectify that well first off you need to build your ruins uh, or your your yeah, your ruin stones uh, my attack ruin stone is at 52 my defense is at 22 and my damage is at 43 uh, I don't worry so much uh, because I'm a mage and in uh, on, on my my main account uh, but uh, I'm going to be going up to warrior very soon. Now, you have to understand that as a, a, a warrior, you need to attack as strong as you can get. Now, for my advice, um, if you're going to be a warrior, then you, you need to, okay? Uh, if you have blue power which is balance power okay you need uh, Venthan okay and the warrior that I like to use is Mika okay and I like him because the abilities of warrior power uh, confidence does more damage so the higher my confidence the higher I hit. Um, Joan is more effective in Sentinel and Guardian and uh, let me see. Um, Catherine uh, grants physical ability but Catherine is a green. Um, if you have balance power on most of your characters then you want Venturon, uh, Venturin, and he grants physical abilities too. Now I have him and I have Catherine and I use them both because of the very simple reason um, it's it's very important that we have the capacity to be able to be the strongest in our guild because as a warrior we're going to be looked at um, to help those that can't help themselves so we need to understand that now in the guild shops um, as far as building and what you need on the build is the first thing you need to buy is uh, you need to buy whirlwind okay which at the first time 
is twelve hundred and fifty dollars uh, or guild coins and then you need berserk and then you need focus attack um, also so once you have these then I would say once you have these three then you could be place your class as a warrior um, later on as time goes up there you're going to want to get confidence then you're going to want to get guardian and guardian what guardian does is um, target apply and take damage instead uh, up to 200 health and resist damage by 15 damage per hit so what guardian does is it protects the weaker levels on your team or on your guild and you put that on them and it protects them and this is why you need a lot of health because instead of taking damage off them it takes damage off you so we need to be high in um, the uh, health and see my health on the, my main account is 1200 on both of my main accounts and both of those are level 750 and up uh, the one I'm looking at right now is 766 and I hit as a warrior I hit 500 plus um, because my attack is 1648 and with bonuses on top of that which is almost 900 plus bonuses and my defense is 630 or 1636 and the bonuses are 359 so as a rule I usually attack three or four hundred above my level uh, you need to have huge amount of attack and huge amount of defense as a warrior and of course before you take on warrior I recommend that your health be at least 1000 that's my take on warrior uh, at a, in the next couple days I will do another one and God bless